Uh, yeah, uh, hi everyone, so, I am planning on starting a little series about day trading, I guess. I don't, now, I don't really know much about it. Like, I know some basics, so this is gonna be, you know, interesting. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, um, let's see, I'm gonna start off by installing Robinhood, which I have on my phone, but I'm using my tablet now, um, just cause it has a screen recorder, um, but, uh, yeah, actually... Webull has a better, um, has a better, like, like, data, has better data, um, so I wonder if any of these other apps here have good, like, good graphics, or graphs, and, um, I know Yahoo Finance has some good information, um, but, yeah, basically, I'm just gonna go go through my experience, I guess. I'm gonna try and do it every day, and I guess I could just compile it all into, like, or maybe do daily. I, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, uh, but, yeah, here we go. Um, let me... Login. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Verify identity. Let's see. Oh, great! It remembered me. I'm on my I'm on hot spot, so sometimes it doesn't work. All right. Oh. Hold up. Okay, and I just put in my pin code, and here we are. So I'm I've already invested some. Uh as you can see, these are my stocks. Everything's down. Um I'm up oh hold on. I'm up eighty six cents today. Woohoo. <laughs> uh let's see. So I guess I will just start off with uh, with where I'm where I'm at. Actually, I kind of want to change this to black background real quick. Do do do. Gotta get my settings all all down. The house down. I don't want. In your app appearance theme, just dark, just stay dark. I don't know what. Are, okay, so that's the appearance. Okay, great. So, so okay, so I've got stocks here. I guess um. Yeah, I guess I'll just break down where I'm at. So first off, it's 7.30 in the morning. I think the market opened about an hour ago. Um, I work every day from 9.30 to about 3. It depend I do delivery <clears throat> for a company, so it depends on when my route ends. Um, but yeah, I'm just working part-time. And... Um, but I, since I'm driving, I can't look at the market during the day. So basically, this is, I'm just gonna have to do it at the end of the day, right around market closing time, probably, or in the morning, right when it opens. So I'm probably gonna try and look at it in the morning, 
and then also and then go and do some purchasing at night or or maybe in the morning if I catch any that are low and yeah so <clears throat> my investing knowledge comes from just various blogs and YouTube videos um, also I think his name is Phil Town I read his book rule number one investing apparent I don't know if he worked with Warren Buffett or if he just idolizes Warren or if the Warren Buff Buffett's one of his role models or or what but basically um, in his book, Rule Number One, and I'm not affiliated with him, I just checked it out from my local library. He, um, he's, he, he breaks down, like, his journey. He started off as a, just like a hippie biker dude, like, like, motorcycle guy, and he was, like, working out, like, in, like, some park or something, like, just, like, just kind of floating around living in a tent basically me right now living in my freaking car and um and then he um he like met somebody who helped him get into investing and told him you know you can make money doing this and that was like i don't know probably like 50 years ago 30 years ago and then he's now he's like super rich so um so he breaks down the process and the process is really simple so let's see i'll open what's this one okay canopy growth so here's over the past five years canopy growth is up and down i guess see this is why i don't like robin hood because you can't see the dates it's just a general five year i don't know how to get it to show me the actual dates and times on we bullet it breaks it down it's got 5 p.m 2 p.m blah 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 march january but uh anyway so for the past year uh <clears throat> canopy growth has gone up so this would have been the best time to buy obviously how would you know that it's going to go up you wouldn't so um canopy growth is kind of a bad example let's see something okay netflix netflix okay sorry i'm a dork but okay so netflix okay netflix has a bunch of ups and downs ups and downs ups and downs ups and up down up down but oops but um so like this was a, a so over the past year basically everything has gone up because everybody's at home in covid and during covid and they're like well let me you know plug away five dollars and so i'm kind of mad that i didn't see that coming um but uh yeah so so a year ago if you invested it if you had money invested in netflix it's it's gone up a hundred if you had a dollar in there it's now 175 dollars i think that's how that works um <clears throat> but um basically you can look at the graph here and you can predict now, of course, with COVID, everything's a little weird. But, so he, like, but you, if you know, okay, blah, 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 blah. Phil Town says to start with a company that you know, start with something that you know. So, like, I know Netflix. I understand the demographics. I understand the, the business model. I get it. Um, it's so so netflix would be a good good um company for me to invest in so what i would do is i'm gonna look at the history of netflix and see when it goes up and when it goes down when it goes up when it goes down when it goes up and down up down up down up down so that way it because it's gonna follow a pattern Every year, it's going to go up at certain times, and it's going to go down at certain times. That's just the nature of 
the of any market every market if you work somewhere at a retail job you know at lunchtime it's gonna get busy and then there's gonna be a lull and then it's gonna get busy and then there's gonna be a lull so it's basically the same thing with the stock market you know at certain times like I know Netflix is always down overnight everybody always sells at the end of the day for some reason with Netflix and then after a couple hours everybody buys overnight and it, it it goes up so so these are all probably at at night at the end of the day it went down at the end of the day it went down at the end of the day it went down and then everybody bought and and also on Robin Hood and probably other markets you can buy overnight but it's not gonna it's not gonna go in at that price it's gonna go in since like you know say a, a hundred people buy Netflix overnight after the markets closed when the market opens they're gonna queue and it's gonna go in line so the first person's gonna get this price seconds gonna get that third fourth fifth sixth seven so if you're the hundredth person in person in line you're gonna end up buying at the top price so you don't want to buy at night I learned that the hard way <laughs> um, I thought it would give you the price you bought it at but um but yeah, so I um, basically, uh, yeah, so so you want to follow the so anyway, so for Phil Towns rule number one, you you want to you want to follow the patterns in order to buy low and sell high. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try and do that so right now I've, what I've done is I took like okay I've got $130 available in my Robinhood account and available to invest and I've actually I've already got a bunch of money invested I've got 371 invested uh, well, owned in stocks, I guess. Um, mostly I just put, like, $5, mostly, in, like, each of these. Um, and then, you know, some of them it's, like, 25 or whatever. Because I don't, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna try and see how much I can make. Um, apparently there's, like, a market, I don't know if it's a market correction, but there's gonna be, like, some... A market flip or something where it's like a lot of stuff's gonna drop and a lot of stuff's gonna go up or something so in this coming year so I'm gonna you know obviously I'm gonna have to be careful here um, but I mean like you know I'm just gonna see what I can do but I have to go I have to start getting ready for work now so I'm gonna come back probably at the end of the day or tomorrow and continue and I'm gonna break down what stocks I have invested and uh, which ones I'm watching and just yeah just look at basically my current portfolio <clears throat> If I can get this thing to work, how do I get it to work? Oh my gosh. Am I gonna work for me? There we go. 